Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be talking about the uh, completed build for Revels 172 SS25 Sickle Topol. It's a Russian ballistic missile uh, truck and I, I think it's an interesting subject so I decided to build this and I've seen a lot of uh, reviews on this uh, like inbox review, uh, build time lapse so i think it could be quite popular for this model so i'm not gonna just i'm not gonna talk about what they showed you you can watch those uh builds i'm just gonna go through my build really quickly this is made in russia so it's a Zvezda's uh kit original rebox by revel and Instruction is typical Revel new instructions in color. Starts off with uh, the chassis is version one and two. Two is launch position, and I chose that. So typically, all the axles, blah blah blah. Uh, there's nothing in the cabin. It's empty. And then all the boxes, the cabins comes on, the tube for the missile, no missile in there, and you're done. Three color schemes, green, camo, and this weird space launch system, which I think it really looks awful. So I chose the camo version. So let's jump into my model here. So this is the complete build done by me. And it looks like this from the side. So this is the uh, launch positions. Okay. And I did not glue this thing in, the hydraulics, because so that I can just uh, take it off and fold it if I want to, like this. So, uh, let me explain a little bit here. I washed uh, with some grey, white and put a lot of rust uh, weathering on the chassis and you can see all the dirt and grime on the wheels it's not overly weathered um, I did some wash to show some panel lines um, I st the first coat was green. I chose uh, 312 Mr. Hobby because I like this color, which is different from this, which is a much darker green. But I like this green better, so I chose this. And the uh, sand yellow, mix sand yellow, and then flat black. You can see the fire extinguisher. Um, I have since this is the launch position, all these hydraulics, the stands are down. Um, this will be the folded positions. And the wheels are actually slightly sagging down because of the suspension. I don't think it makes much difference, but there is a certain height difference there. And this thing is actually not a stand, but it's supposed to align the missile, some, something like that. I'm not too sure. So, the 
back to the side. Okay, so I'm going to show you some size comparisons in the same scale. First off, I got a mouse here, a German mouse, which is supposed to be a huge tank. So you can see the size is really huge. And then I'm going to have the M977 truck, which is uh, supposed to be big, but when you compare to this, it looks so tiny. Look at the size of this Russian mass truck. And if you compare the wheels, so this thing is a monster compared to the M977. And the width of the cabin. And then uh, I got a 72 scale uh, figure. So you can see how big the wheels are. It's almost the same height up to his head. So this thing is really huge. Yep. And uh, I got this German Hanomag uh, SS 100 with a V2 missile. So, yep, even this thing in size comparison, look at that, looks so tiny compared to this monster. So uh, let me just show you a little bit on the inside. I can just take the tube off. Yep. Lots of weathering in there. So yeah, that's it. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, if you're building this model, these flimsy parts will actually break in fact, I broke some of them while moving it around. It's just too flimsy, like like this piece here. So I put the side mirrors last because I know I'm going to break this if it's there from the beginning. So it's really flimsy. There's a lot of flim fl flimsy parts, so you got to be careful when you just you know, doing all your weathering, painting, whatever. Anyway, I hope you liked it. You like this model and if you're going to build it, that's good. Um, so, until my next build, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon again. Bye.